Harry Styles, Stormzy, George Ezra, Central C and Fred again make up the all-male shortlist for Artist of the Year. Female pop stars Dua Lipa and Florence and the Machine didn't even make the cut. The gender-neutral categories were introduced following calls from non-binary singer Sam Smith. In the wise words of the Bush Tucker man himself, Hugh Jackman, good eye mates. If you want to make the Oscars more relevant, you might as well make it gender neutral. And that went down like a fart in the wind. And it only makes me laugh now when I see this story about the Brit Awards or the SHIT Awards because I've never found this awards ceremony riveting. I love music, don't get me wrong, but I don't need to see. I mean, the music industry is one of the most insidious industries around. I'll probably put it up there, maybe even a bit more than Hollywood itself. I mean, it is absolutely disgusting, even though I like rock, I like glam rock, I like the old R&B stuff from the 90s, you know, the 70s, 60s. And it's just so weird because if you heard of the 27 Club and other things that go on within the record industry, it almost makes Hollywood look like a, a, a girl guide day out in the park. Do you know what I mean? It's almost that bad. But Brit Awards face backlash for no women nominated, and wait for it, gender neutral category. <laughs> wow. So... <laughs> <laughs> I think the Grammy Awards are doing something like that this year, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, the Brit Awards introduced an Artist of the Year category as a gender-neutral replacement for Best Male and Best Female Artist categories because there are only two logical biologies in this world. Remember that, folks. Um, what do you think about this? It's wrong. It's totally wrong. And I'm with Adele. I love being a woman and i don't like it that there is no male and female categories mm -hmm. i think it's wrong i think everybody is just trying to be too woke over there mm -hmm. and um because one person tries to change it what about everybody else yeah. uh, but all five nominees this year turned out to be male oopsie doopsie Total and utter backlash has ensued in every London newspaper. The BBC, Telegraph, NME, they can talk, and many more are very, very angry. Uh, now, this person here says, I've warned people about this. Going gender neutral in a male-dominated industry leads to women being sidelined. It's as simple as that. I'm not sure why it's so hard for these simpletons to understand. I'm just throwing in my own words there, actually. And that's uh, Jordan Rumi. I want to credit them for this article here. Uh, the Brits stated that they chose... Oh, uh, by the way, uh, who actually said this? All oh, right, I'm going to get to that part in a minute. The Brits, or the shits, as I like to call them, had stated that they chose a non-agenda-specific award to make them even more inclusive, recognising exceptional work, rather than how artists identify. Well, guess what? Female artists lost out, and whatever the intention, the result doesn't look more inclusive. That is true. The Brits want to stay relative. They want to stay on trend. But guess what? No one gives a shit about the Brits. It's not a water cooler moment. You don't stand there with your mate the next day going, oh, did you see Oasis made a comeback and they got the best band of the year award? I mean, no one gives a crap. The last time I gave a crap about music were that was Brit pop back in the 90s. That was a fantastic resurgence for the British music scene at that point, and I loved it. But of course, you do have to get the Guardian famous lefty paper coming in, chiming in with their take about the whole situation. So Owen Jones from The Guardian states, my view is gender neutral awards should deserve 
50% of nominations for women, women represent a majority of the music industry workforce. So the Academy making the nominations should also be weighted to be at least 50% women too. These people are relentless and they'll never admit that they were wrong, ever. It's true. And of course, what Owen Jones said there, yes, I am mocking his narrative there. But of course, yeah, if, if women are meant to make up a big majority of the music industry, why haven't they been nominated? <laughs> I mean, when I hear a brand new tune uh, on, my, uh, in, on my internet radio or outside in someone's car blaring out the music, I do scratch my head and I think, who the fuck is this? I mean, in some ways, I'm kind of, I'm, I, it's kind of made me a bit happy this has happened because people like Cardi B, who I cannot stand, the same Cardi B, he used to be a stripper, he used to drug men and rob them, paying customers. Uh, an absolutely disgusting piece of filth, by the way, Cardi B she is. How young women look up to her and think she's the example to go by. Well, I can only feel sorry for the next generation of women coming up in this world. So I just thought I'd give you this quick story, guys. Yes, it's a few days old, but it's great to see um, articles like this just calling them out for what they are. It's not going to go down well, and it serves them right. You know what? You get all these idiots on the far corner of the internet that they're, they're, they're shouting for representation they're shouting for inclusivity and when it all happens what do they do they retreat back to the corner of the internet and they stay there and it's like tick tock tick tock like the gwen stefani song and then when something else is about to happen they crawl out they slither out again like victor tombs from the x-files and protest one more time they yell and yell until they get so insufferable People like the BBC, people like the people who run the Brit Awards, they have to bend the knee because we have to please these idiots outside who, if we don't do anything, they're not terrorists, they can't do anything to you, they just have a mouthpiece like everybody else. This great organ, this great human trait that someone has given us, mankind. There we go, let's just get everybody raging with that comment uh, to speak our minds. Democracy, what the Greeks gave us, yeah? So we all have a freedom, a right to say what we want to say within boundaries, within limits, as long as you can back it up, which is what my gorgeous English literature teacher Barbara Houghton used to tell me back in 1988 at Southwark College. God, I miss you, Babs. But on that one, folks, if you were me, and if I were you, and if you're a male singer and you find yourself nominated for the a possible Brit Pop Award, or should I say Brit 2023 Award, do let me know in the comments below. And if you were me, and if you watch this video, you better come back for the next one. Wow, I actually managed to get through that in the end without fumbling up. That's pretty amazing.